you're I'm not going to say vastly experienced, but starting to become an experienced manager. Starting, <laughs> wow. In, yeah. in, in the early days of your career, were the managers like Ronnie Moore that you used to use for experience, for a bit of guidance? And are you starting to get to that stage where you start passing that on to younger managers in the... Because did you start in your mid-30s when you were managing at Alfreton, is that about right? Yeah, a bit, bit earlier than that, yeah. When I, when I finished playing, yeah, I went straight into it, so... Uh... I've been doing it obviously now so 14, 15 years um, and it's a tough gig at times um, but uh, you know it's one that I wouldn't change and, and I should imagine so wouldn't Ronnie uh, the eyes, eyes and lows you have to take an equal uh, equal measures uh, but yeah I've, I've spoken to Ronnie on numerous occasions whether we're trying to borrow a player we're trying to speak to speak to players, uh, speak to him about players or whether come across his teams or whatever, but he's always been a, you know, a great a great guy after after the game and, and, and before the game, but a tough opponent, you know, when the when the ninety minutes is taking place. Uh, regarding myself, you know, yeah, I do know a, a lot of young managers that, that I do speak to. So uh, when they do ask you questions you you give them honest answers how to how how you would or try to approach approach Certain situations using your experience, and I'm still doing that. I'm still learning, and I'm still, you know, speaking to other guys up the up the food chain as well. So because there's always there's always different issues and different problems that you've got to try and overcome. And there's a lot of good guys involved in football, and a lot of good guys that you can go to to speak to. Is that I'm, I'm grateful that I can.